Hey guys, Dan Picard here with Eastman's Hunting Journals. Today we're going to do a review on the Leica GeoVid Pro 10x42. Check our channel and subscribe while you're there. Like this video and check out a previous review done by Scott Reekers, the 10x32 GeoVid Pro's cool optic. So let's uh, dive right into this and take a look at the GeoVid Pro by Leica. So ergonomically, it's not really any bigger than any other 10 by 42 optic uh, that you'll use. Uh, slightly longer, uh, it is a, a range-finding optic, of course, but what separates this thing is it has all the bells and whistles that you can think of, whether you're a rifle hunter or a bow hunter even. So first off, we have just a, a quality build, as you would expect from Leica, robust eye cups, four clicks, four different stages that you can stop them at, which I appreciate, and they're solid. And they really fit your eyes ergonomically to really block out all light and everything outside of the eye cup. And so it's a very comfortable and, and very clear picture because of the light that's excluded from outside of the eye cup. Uh, very good glass. When I'm looking through these things, I see real time, so I'm not I'm not getting uh, a tint or a haze or a different color uh, what's translating through the glass when I'm looking through the optic compared to looking at real life. So you have that real life tint and look through it, which I do enjoy as well. The diopters have focusing on each one, um, which is awesome. You have a primary button and a secondary button to run all the functions of the rangefinder. You have a class one laser up front and it's speedy fast. 0.3 seconds to get a range back, which is basically instantaneous. So that's pretty cool too. So the onboard applied ballistics software in this binocular is pretty awesome, especially for those long range shooters. It pairs with your phone via Bluetooth uh, and the app, the Leica Ballistics app. And so anything that you can think of with rifle hunting and long range shooting and mid range shooting, you can do. All the integrated environmental sensors that this optic has are pretty awesome. You have air pressure, temperature, angle. So you can get a wind reading with these as well through pairing it with a Kestrel. So via Kestrel and Bluetooth, you can get your wind reading and that'll go right into the app and give you the exact dope that you need uh, when you're shooting out long distances or closer distances too. The display and the readout is on the right side of the binocular. It's very clean, it's red. You have the primary and the secondary buttons on here. You just press down the primary to turn the optic on, and then you can press and hold the secondary and for three seconds, and that allows you to get into the menus where you can make all your adjustments from meters to yards and that sort of thing. So very simple there. When I was testing these, I got out to 2,700 yards on non-reflective across the canyon behind me. On reflective objects, this thing goes up to 3,200 is what's advertised. Uh, but yeah, pretty impressive, non-reflective, 2,700 yards. That's obviously well beyond uh, what I would need to range in any hunting or shooting situation. So yeah, very satisfactory there. Okay, also for us bow hunters, you have angle compensation and equivalent horizontal range technology. This gives us precise readings on those angled shots, whether you're angling up or down on the true horizontal distance, especially once you get out on those further yardages, 70, 80, 90, 100 yards. So that's really important when you are shooting longer distances, 70, 80, 90 yards, the room for error in the mathematical equations on that angle compensation is so small because two yards can make a huge difference on those angled shots for bow hunters. And this new technology really pinpoints those yardages when it comes to true horizontal distance. Okay, the Leica Ballistics app. You pair this to your binocular. It's really easy via Bluetooth. Uh, set your app or in your phone into pairing mode and your binocular into pairing mode. And you can pretty much do anything on this app. Gun profiles, crossbow profiles, the ballistic profiles that you can put in this app and save all those profiles no matter which weapon you're shooting. And the feature that I really like is the ProTrack capabilities. And what that does via Bluetooth 
is it communicates with either Google Maps, Garmin, or Base Maps. And what it does, when I range the hillside, my target, maybe a spring bear that I'm going on and I need a location before I make a move on that animal, it marks the range in the app and it's, it's basically right on the money. So far I've been really impressed by the precision of this aiming, shooting the range, and the pin showing up on base maps or, or Google Maps. So that's a pretty cool tool to have, especially for us backcountry hunters. Uh, whether you're rifle hunting or bow hunting, uh, that need to mark a spot or maybe you need to mark a rock where a buck's laying under and you need to walk around and make a move. So that's a, a pretty powerful tool to have when you can really have that precision at your fingertips. Um, so that's pretty cool too. Lastly, another thing that I really like with Leica is the warranty. As of 2021, they have a 10 year transferable warranty and they have a lifetime warranty for workmanship on these optics as well. So the life of the bino, if you ever have any problems, you can send it in and they will work on it, replace it, whatever needs to be done for no cost. So that's pretty cool. The warranty is pretty awesome. Okay, that's the Leica GeoVid Pro 10x42. New optic, pretty awesome. Check them out. Look through them yourself, see what you think. Be sure you like this video. Leave me a comment. Uh, ask me a question. There's a ton of things that this optic has that we simply don't have the time to go over, all the little things. You can look it up on the website as well. But subscribe to our channel. We have a ton of videos that we come out with. And check out Beyond the Grid. We have a new season of Beyond the Grid coming up here in a couple weeks. So keep an eye out for that on Eastman's Hunting Journal's YouTube channel. And follow us on social media too. You'll get all the good updates.